lounge and sun. Welcome back to the Comic Lounge. My name is Ryan. And I'm Manny. And we're talking some more Keith Giffen. And this time, as you can clearly see, a, a completely different art style than some of the stuff you've seen so far on the channel. This is Images of Shadowhawk. And I don't think I have every single issue. I think I have like one in three because this is a three issue series. Um, I have I'm, one and two. Okay. So we're just going to talk about issue one just to kind of show it off. This is 90s insanity at its best, in my opinion. This is like a Keith yeah. Giffen art style that is just fucking bonkers, dude. And this I is love it, the, though. And it's not the only time he does this because he also does this no. in a Lobo infanticide uh, miniseries. He does it and in, in his, Trencher, of course. In, yeah, his creator own book, Trencher, that he did at Image. Interesting to see that like he also wrote some other stuff. Like He wrote some Bloodstrike. I think not a lot, mm-hmm. but he wrote a few issues of that. And I didn't know that Alan Grant did the dialogue for this. That also was kind of shocking. Yeah, I me. didn't I didn't know either. But like, you know, those those two are those two are always working together. Yeah. But look, yeah, look at this style, dude. It's like very yeah. loose, very like I don't even know how to describe this. It's just like there, it's like very sketchy, you know, yeah. like very, uh, like very abstract, you know. Yeah, very abstract is the word I was looking for. Yeah, because like none of it really makes sense. Nobody is anatomically correct for the most part. No. Everything is just, it's like an acid yeah. trip a little bit when you think. It, it, it is, yeah. yeah. Very, it's very psychedelic in that kind of way. And like, you know, it, it almost looks like, like no pencil straight to ink maybe. I don't know. Like. I can see that actually now that I'm, I'm thinking I'm, about it. I'm not it. sure. Yeah. You know, I was trying to. When I was rereading it last night, I was trying to trying to trying to analyze how how the line work is because there's like, no definition in a lot no. of parts where at a time where there was everything was so line heavy and cross hatched. Yeah, everything like, like was cross hatched, especially from image. You know, like you're he goes about another like, direction, which I love makes this it shadow stand hawk. out. I mean, like, and this is a completely yeah. That that's an amazing shadow hawk. You know, like yeah. like you know the the jagged lines. Like it it, it all makes me think like. Like that, it was just like you know drawn straight to ink and then colored digitally. Yeah. I think this is definitely digital colors. The beginning of digital colors. I yeah, I kind of want to ask whoever worked on this book. Maybe that. Oh no, I guess Valentino would be the one to ask at this point. Yeah, yeah, I would love to talk to him about this. I love this, dude. Snap. I love that snap. You know, like, and you know, if you want the story here, we got um, you know, Shadowhawk is. Uh, keeping tabs on a crime lord that is in the hospital. And although Shadowhawk wants to break his back and kill him as he does with criminals, he's <laughs> hesitating because the guy's going to prosecute and turn state's witness. So it's probably better that he lets him live because it'll bring more bad guys down. So like, that's the, uh, yeah, the premise, that's the story. Yeah. yeah. The premise. I love this too, man. Like we said, we kind of forgot that Trencher was in here, but we're, yeah. we're going to see him right here, dude. Yeah, and Trencher is uh, sort of a bounty hunter himself, you know, like he or re- he repossesses people, as he calls it. <laughs> yeah. And there, you know, there's something Lobo-esque about Trencher's personality, especially in this issue. You know, oh, like, for uh, sure, name, dude. I was definitely name, getting heavy Lobo. Well, he's not but... named Trencher. He's a Trencher, and he's named Gideon. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, you know, he's chopping on the cigar. He's, uh, you know, communicating with uh, his handler, and, like, their di- dialogue and back and forth is really funny. You know, like, he, he's very surly. The dude's name is The Blowhole. Yeah, 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 dude. And he's like, let me guess. He has he's got super breath. There's something very uh, uh Garth Ennis about the the story too and humor and the way that like like uh, you know, I I I think Giffen must have been an influence on Ennis as a writer, especially this period, because you know it's very like uh, nihilistic is the wrong word, but it's like very biting like humor, you know? Yeah, definitely like Alan Grant and Keith Giffen have, I would imagine, probably, you know, especially Garth Ennis writes that Demon series. Exactly, right? yeah. And, you know, and, 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 you know, they all come from, uh, like, 2000 AD. I mean, like, you know, Alan Grant and, and Ennis do. So yeah. that's there's a lot of that in this DNA, too, you know? I love that he's always wheezing, too. Yeah. yeah <laughs> G- got, Giffen, I, always, <laughs> I used to think Giffen was a British creator, but he's not, he wasn't, you know? Like, but he... he he very much had like that kind of sensibility too, I think. Yeah, for sure. I like this very like hospital for the very rich. Just right yeah, on. Yeah, right yeah. Yeah, th- those are the things that make like th- those are the aspects of of that we, you know, we we ta- in another episode we talked about the first appearance of Lobo that was, you know, so different, but mm. this is what you start to see in Giffen is like a lot of like background humor, a lot of little things like that, you know, like 
like every panel has multiple things to look at. Like this is a real fun comic to look at. Oh yeah, for sure. So yeah, so so Shadowhawk and and Shadowhawk is the you know following Trencher here, and then they have their first battle. Great panel too, you know. I know. I really love the way he draws Shadowhawk, dude. Yeah, man, totally. The next page is probably one of my favorites too, man. I like this though. You know, he's like maybe he 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 has to let him testify. So like he's going against what he normally does, which is like just want to break people's backs. Which yeah. is like funny that that's like his his mo. His, he just breaks his mo. His yeah. Eyes. Look at this. Dude. I love how the pole is like obscuring the guy's head, doing a yeah. nice touch. I like that. That trencher is literally smoking a cigarette the entire time this is going on. Another cold blooded killer on these cold blooded streets, and another who'll spend the rest of his life regretting it. Yeah, the, <laughs> he just yeah, it's, it, like, yeah. I think it's supposed to be kind of funny, you know? Like he's yeah. almost not, not parodying Shadowhawk, but there's a little bit of that in here, I think. I it, love al- that page. it almost feels like that dialogue felt like very Frank Miller esque too, a little bit like yes. from Sin City or something. I mean, I'm not saying I mean, that that's it's not a it's not it's a direct not a yeah. yeah 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 it's I don't think it's like a direct connection, but I just kind of the way I just read those panels kind of reminds me of like Sin City a little bit, and I love this too, like the the colors that are used, like this weird like lavender purple almost, you know, yeah, like, and then like just the, the bright yellows, of, like, yeah. Just showing how much he's shooting at him, and it's just like all over Shadow. Yeah, dude, it's he just like yeah, into that bus or that van. Like, like you said earlier, like what a different art style from what was going on in Image at the time. You know, I, and I, I think that at the time it was probably drawing to people, but when I look back now, like these little these little projects that are different from Image are the ones that I love the most from that time. You know, agreed. Yeah, and then he's just trying yeah. to douse the flames, and you can see all the little like puncture marks that melted yeah. his costume and it's like feels like i just went three rounds of the volcano man in my condition shouldn't have to go through that come back c- coming back at me with a broken spine that was some tough guy but even tough guys burn yeah it's great man just a fun comic dude so good yeah dude and trench is like ah he uses the fire hydrant to, to turn off his fire you know he's on fire and he's just like ah why does this always happen to me and yeah. like again like i love the the back and forth between him and his handler it's like maybe you're jinx he's like enough just point me at this hospital and i'll plug the blowhole before anything else mm-hmm. untoward happens man i hate this city. you know like the, he's very lobo in that respect you know like yeah and then he has a little callback to blood strike because he's like oh is he one of those blood strike I've been hearing something about to do with that spawn, you know, yeah. like yeah, I, I, I did, I did love that. And then just like next time I'll be ready. Then he goes back into his apartment, and that's another thing too. It's like he's not like your typical vigilante that has like a bunch of money. Like he just lives in some shitty apartment, you know. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, like you could see the walls are like kind of like cracked, and you know he's got a rate a leaky radiator, you know, like it's those little it's those little things that uh, Giffen puts in the art that I just love. That yeah, just like add to it, you know. Just the, the the exaggeration of the anatomy in, in this is so great, you know. Like, mm-hmm. you know, you know what I also I also see on here a little bit is uh, you know, like it's exaggerated, but like maybe it's the coloring, but like a little Jeff Darrow too, you know. You know, I can see that. Yeah, I like that he's like about to take a shower and he's like listening to them talk about the blowhole, and yeah, uh, you can just see him peeking from behind the curtain. At the same time that they're watching the same news story over here. Yeah, it's a good transition, you know. Yeah, very cinematic. Something that Alan Moore does a lot, you know? God, that must have been so crazy to have to draw this trencher outfit. Dude, I mean, I just can't imagine, you know? Like, like again, I, I I would love to talk to someone about it. Probably like you said, Jim Valentino, like, what was the process here? Is this straight to straight to inks? Yeah. Were there maybe so- soft pencils, you know? Like, because I definitely don't see a lot of a lot of penciling detail here, you know? Yeah, neither do I. It just, it does look like the straight to ink. Like, maybe yeah. it was like, or maybe it was blue line, and then yeah, that's the other thing I was thinking. Like maybe blue line pencils. But I don't know. It's weird. It, is it? It's a definitely a style unto its own. Like I don't think I've ever seen anything like this since. I yeah. love this as Shadowhawk's putting on his costume too. I wish we had and more I think, Shadowhawk. I do too, man. I, I I have the four issues of the original series, and that's that's something I, I I look through every so often. Yeah, I have the first. I think I have because the numbering. I think changes eventually to where it's like first I have the first three miniseries and then it changes to issue 13 or something. Yeah. So I yeah. have like the first three 
And then I'd be I down to do some shadow hop sometime. So much blood, dude. That. Yeah, everywhere dude. he goes. And I mean, I love I love the the layouts too, man. We haven't talked about the layouts, but oh, the layouts yeah. are pretty wild, man. Like the panel, the panel shapes are pretty wild, like very freehand. Again, like there, there's something like you you said earlier, very like you know, very very psychedelic. Like this thing almost reads like an acid trip, you know? Yeah, dude. Like you're looking like you're on mushrooms or something. And yeah, this, yeah, this, yeah. Like, like, you know, like what yeah. you're seeing. Like, this is a comic that's like, I wonder what this reading this on psychedelics would have been like. Yeah, yeah I can't imagine, dude. Like I love this panel too, like the like trencher just shooting everybody. You know? Oh yeah, like, that angle's great, dude. Because you're yeah, coming man. at it from the point of view of like looking at him as he's coming at you about to blast you away. Yeah. And then we get the ending and then it ends on a great cliffhanger. Great yeah. image. I would yeah. love to have that as, as a poster, you know? Same. Yeah, there's I mean, look, that's most of the image back then was like all those great yeah. images that would be great as posters, you know. And then that middle panel on the on the left-handed page, I I love it. Like the different the different blam, bam, stuck. You know what I mean? Like the yeah. different automatopias, the different like colors and shapes to the lettering. I mean, such good work in this. This is a gem, man. It is. It's so it's so good. I gotta pick up the second issue so that I can I, as I have to finish the rest of this series, but there's some cool pinups in the back too worth mentioning. Yeah. Like you got a, you got Jerry Ordway, Sam Keith, uh, Sam Keith, you know, and then you've got a uh, Don, Don Simpson. I, I love this trench number zero. Fat chance of that ever happening, but you know we're up to issue five and still only a dollar ninety five. So check us out. Yeah, I don't even think issue five that. ever came out, dude. No, I don't think so either. They're, I gotta yeah. shout this out about Eric Larson, dude. I love that because he's like making fun. He's like taking shots at Todd. His talk yeah, about yeah. All the different writers to write Spawn. So he just writes. Eric Larson writes Savage Dragon. And I, I love the back page too. Like you talk about like the class, like look it up. Like I would love to have any of those shirts or hats, man. You know, like oh. Shadowhawk and Puffy Blood Splatter on a blue tee, you know, like mm -hmm. and held over by the glow in the dark helmet design on a black tee. I, I mean, who doesn't want a glow in the dark Shadowhawk shirt? I want it. Yeah, I want it too, man. But yeah, this was a fun issue. Definitely great we're definitely issue, gonna have man. to yeah. talk some trencher too, because this was this is a blast. Um yes, agreed. If you haven't checked this out, these are super easy to find. I mean, you can find them in dollar yeah, yeah. bins. I see them in dollar bins all the time. All the, all time, the time, dude. So yeah. definitely seek this out. Make sure you get out there, check the, you know, pick up some more yeah. Keith Giffen stuff. We're gonna be doing some this will Keith never be reprinted, man. Oh, Finding never. them in bins is the only way you're gonna get this. Yeah. And definitely keep a lookout for the rest of the Keith Giffen stuff we have on the channel. Check out that playlist. Mm -hmm. Uh, make sure you like, follow, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you're notified every time a new vid drops. And on that note, we're out. Catch you next time, guys.